Um, hey guys, so again today I'm going to be showcasing some packages that I had bought um, off eBay, some Pokemon cards. I did originally plan to get them posted to me, but instead I went and picked them up because uh, it was easier for me and the seller. And I ended up getting a cheaper price and a few other things that I was really happy about. But um, so the first thing I got here is, just want to make sure, no, uh, I've got to flip it around quickly, not, I just want to show off what it is yet. So here it is, it's a PSA graded card, it's in a case, so I'll just take this, or it's in plastic rather, so I'll take this off quickly. Um, if you want to buy from this person, I'll leave the link to their website and eBay in the description. He packages them in padded letters and in plastic sleeves and top loaders and everything, so it's really secure. And also he has a, he um, is a really nice guy as well. So, first off here, um, we do have... This Charizard EX, Mega Charizard EX from the Flash Fire series, PSA 8. Um, now the reason I believe it got PSA 8, yeah, you can see there's some damaging in that corner, in that corner, um, and yeah, in the corner. So there's some damaging, so that's probably why. On close inspection, I don't really see any scratches on the hollow. Um, full art cards and mega cards and whatnot, they usually get higher grades because it's hard to see the scratches on the hollow but yeah I don't I don't really see any on this anyway the second one I have here okay good it's upside down just take off the plastic again okay. here we go so I'll just flip this over it's another another mega Charizard EX flash fire um, this is a mint nine instead. So here I have mint eight and then mint nine. So this one was twenty dollars. This was thirty, and I saved on postage costs because I went and picked it up. But they sell for fifty and a hundred respectively. So I was really happy about the price I got them for. Um, if we look at it, there isn't any damage on the, or rather scratching on the hollow. But uh, when you flip it over, you see there's a tiny nick there, and. In the bottom hand corner, there's a little nick as well. So that's probably why I got PSA 8. Um, next up are the things I got while I was there. Um, so they're just some cards that I got. I got them for $75 in total. The guy paid 18 for each of these. And there's five cards, so I kind of felt bad getting them for such a low price. But um, yeah, they're all, all PSA ready, but I will take them out of the top loaders so I can examine them. Um, first up here we have an Erica's Dragonair. Um, I'm gonna take it out. I won't take it out of the sleeve. It's just because I know the top loader has some scratches on, on each of them. So first, as I can see, there is some scratching on the hollow down there, um, which is unfortunate. It might be looked over by PSA, but as in they might not see it. But um, we can see there's some damage in the corner there, and uh, some pretty bad damage down there. So this, I presume, will probably get a PSA 8, and that's that's that would be a good grade. If we got a 9, that would be surprising, and if we got 7, I mean, I, I see why it might. So, but yeah, PSA 8 probably should be the grade for that. Next, we have a Hitmonchan Unlimited. I'm going to take it out of the case again. So yeah, here we have it. Um, looking at the actual hollow, you can see there is scratching all over it, a fair bit of it as well. Um, on the back, there isn't any damage. There's a tiny bit on the sides, so hopefully this could get a PSA 9. PSA 8.5 I'd be happy with, I'd rather that over a 9, just because how uncommon they are to get. But um, yeah, just so, the reason I took them out of the case, as you can see, there's scratching all over them, so it'd make it a bit harder to examine. So yeah, hopefully this one would get a PSA 9. If it got PSA 8.5, that would be the best case scenario. And then PSA 8 would probably be unfortunate. Anything lower than that, I'd be pretty upset with. Um, next one I have here is a no uh, symbol Victory Bell Jungle. Um, I'll just take it out of the case quickly again. Um,
So yeah, here we go. Um, on first examine, you can see there is again scratching on the hollows. That's those light scratches. They're really hard to avoid, and it's unfortunate because uh, things like that can bring it down a grade. Um, there is edge wear up here and down there. So for that, I'd probably be expecting about a PSA seven. Um, if it got anything higher than that, I'd be happy. I, I'd highly doubt it would get a PSA six. Um, but yeah, so seven is what I'm expecting. Eight, it's possible. And uh, no, there'll be a PSA submission video in the future. Um, I'm just gonna get them all ready to be graded and save up enough money to send them off because it's pretty expensive to get a membership and then send them all. But next up, I have another electrode, no symbol, hollow. I just want to check. Yes, they are all from Jungle. So, um, as we can see, again, there's scratching on the hollow. Um, you can see some scratches there. And I believe down here as well, there's some scratches. And if we look at the back, there is some nicks on the edges. Some whitening. Um, but yeah, so... That, I'd probably be predicting a PSA 8, um, just because of the edge wear damage and the um, surface scratches. Unfortunately, I didn't see them all when I first looked at this. Even if these were to get a PSA 8, I'd still be happy with. Um, so I bought them for 75, so that would be about 15 each, right? Yeah, I, so I would have bought them for 15 each, a $6 grading fee, so I could still sell them for more. Um, next up, I have a, let's take it out of the case quickly, oh, no, that's the sleeve as well, okay, so here I have Wigglytuff, no base, or no jungle symbol, again, and on this, I can see that there is some light scratching again, one thing I am noticing is there is a pretty deep scratch right there, um, and yeah, there are some pretty visible scratches on this one. The edges, uh, there is some edge wear down here, unfortunately. Um, so that's probably, um, doubting that would get a PSA 8, probably PSA 7. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a PSA 7. PSA 6 is possible, I don't think so. Um, and then PSA 7, I'm not too sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't think it would get a PSA 8. Anyway, and then the thing I got here, next up, I'm very happy with. So the guy I bought this off, he paid $2, believe it or not, for this. Um, I bought it off him for 35 I was pretty happy about that. And it's a base set on limited pack. Now, I'm going to remove the plastic off this real quick. Where is it? Oh, it's on the other side. And yes, so this is a Blastoise base set pack, unlimited. Upon feeling it, it feels pretty heavy, and that is a good sign. I'm planning on opening this, maybe, because it feels so heavy. Um, I'm really not too sure, though, because it would be really disappointing if I opened this and just got a regular rare. Obviously, all the cards would be PSA 8 or PSA 9 worthy. I doubt I'd get any PSA 10s. Um, but yeah, maybe in the future we'll see an opening video of this, but again, I was happy to get this for $35, um, if I, if I was to get a holo, I'd be happy, because it'd be worth it, but we'll see, we'll see in the future what I get, um, if I open it, and anyway, that's it, I believe, for this video, no, that is not it, one thing I wanted to bring up, again, um, just quickly, right here is my first edition base set Charizard, I know I'm showing it off again, but what I'm thinking about is sending this off to be regraded by PSA. Um, it is a risk, obviously, because if it gets another 5, then I've just wasted the submission cost. You can see it's got some light scratching here, it has got, um, I've got to show this quickly. It's hard with my with my um setup. But there is a deep scratch down there. And then the edges on the back look pretty oh fairly beaten up. But still I think this is worth getting a PSA six. 
I've looked at photos of other PSA 5s um, from eBay. You can see a lot of damage around there. You can see the same sort of scratches down here. Um, and I've looked at 6s and this looks very similar to a 6. So I'm considering that. It is a... I think for a card of this much, it's about a $60 grading fee. But the possibility of gaining 200 from how much it would be worth, uh, it's just something I've got to toss up. I might send it off with my... Um, 20 free submissions that I get from my membership um, but I'll have to think about it obviously there's also the risk that when I open it up out of the case I could damage it further and if that happens that would be really terrible so I've got to I've got to think about it but anyway that's it for this video guys um, expect more Pokemon unboxing and openings in the future because I am planning on I'm thinking when the new set comes out I'll probably open some packs from there just because mainly these have been eBay buys. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to check this guy out in the description. He's a really nice guy. He has pretty good prices as well. Um, if you're looking, if you're from Australia and you're looking to send um, some old cards you have, he does a 2,000 um, bulk submission video. Uh, sorry, 2,000 cards for a booster box bulk submission. Um, for people in Australia, it's a really expensive cost to send it off to America because... To get airmail, it's over eighty dollars, whereas through Australia it's only thirty. So sending off those extra six hundred cards makes up for it. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.